team one lay back and snatch the song. Amen. 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 Or stir it up something the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. When you can't make it to the sanctuary. Amen. You can just be right alone in your tongue and still obey the presence of God.
you find it, just say amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Yeah. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock, and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I just want to use for a thought this morning, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my <clears throat> light. Uh -huh. David, the, the writer <clears throat> of this psalm, uh -huh. some think David penned this psalm before he is coming to the throne, when he was in the midst of his troubles. If this is accurate, it indicates that David, <clears throat> David authored the psalm when King Saul, filled with jealousy, rage, was pursuing him. Uh -huh. Others believe it was the occasion of the death of his parents. But the Jews believe he pinned it when he was old, when Abishai came to his aid and helped him kill the Philistine giant by the name of Ishbabinah in 2 Samuel 16, 2 Samuel 2, 21, 16 through 17. And David's means decided he should never venture his life again in battle. Lest he should quench the light of Israel. David says in Psalms 27, the Lord is my light. He knew that he wasn't the light. You see, he said, the Lord is my light. Amen. And he, he shone as the moon does with a borrowed light. The Lord was darting some light to David that as he followed the Lord, that it would shine upon the people. Yes, sir. It's kind of like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Yeah, he had a borrowed light. David had fears and troubles. Uh -huh. he, and I discovered today, my brothers and sisters, we're no different. We have fears and troubles today. You know, and David had to experience some things. And I discovered, you know, when some of us are getting ready to retire, I'm approaching some retirement years in a few more years, I'm going to be retiring. Mr. the Lord's will. Now if you tell me to go Monday, I'm ready. <laughs> but my plan, but sometimes our plan and God's plan are two different plans. Amen. I discovered many people fear retirement. They wonder, will I have enough funds to make in my retirement? I worked all my and, and, and what am I going to do now? Uh -huh. hmm? yeah. 
They start contemplating what their second job gonna be before they leave that job. Yeah. Mm. Some fear being hurt or betrayed by somebody we love and trust. Yes, sir. David in Psalms 27 lets us know something. To trust God in all that you go through. I don't care what it is you're facing, trust Him. Don't, don't lead to your own understanding. But in all thy ways and knowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. He'll, he'll let you know which way you need to go. Amen. If you trust Him, you don't have to feel in the direction He leads you. All you have to do is, is go because He said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, my brothers and sisters, you have to have a relationship with God. Yeah. My first point is you need a personal relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. David said, the Lord is my light and my yeah. salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? His confidence is based on personal, personal experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over the years, David had put God to the test in many trying situations. Ah, uh, uh, yes, my brothers and sisters. When David was a, a young, a young shepherd boy, he had to rescue his father's sheep from a lion and a bear. Early in his life, he had experienced God's presence with him. When he stood before Saul asking to go out and meet Goliath, he, he says in 1 Samuel 17, verses 34 through 36, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. Yeah. And when a lion or bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, yeah. I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard huh, and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and that. David is not speaking like a man escaped. Huh? Because he realized that God had not given him a spirit of fear, but a power huh? of a love and of a sound mind. Hmm? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, David is. Is speaking like a bold soldier yeah, yeah. in the army of the Lord. Yeah. And when he stood before Goliath in 1 Samuel 17 and 46, he simply says, this day the Lord will deliver you. Yes, he, he said tomorrow, uh, he said, but this day yeah. Yeah. the Lord will deliver you into my hands. Yeah. David is a young shepherd, young lad, and, and Goliath a great giant. Yeah. But he said, the Lord, no, David didn't take no credit. He said, he didn't say he was going to do it. Yeah. But he said, the Lord will deliver you yeah. into my hands. Ah, huh? yes, uh, yes, and I will strike you and take your head from you. Uh -huh. yeah. This day I will give the carcass of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. I just want to let you know that's a God in the United States. That's a God all over this world. Amen. And his son's name is Jesus. Verse 50, David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Yeah. A slingshot and a stone, and this giant got a sword standing tall, armor all open. But David takes his slingshot and swings it three times. I imagine one for the Father, yeah. one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. And that stone had divine direction and struck the life dead in the head. Yeah. Down goes the life. Yeah. Knocked him down, and David did just as he said. He took his head. Yeah, yeah. 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 just like the son, as we have to face our fears. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have to face our troubles. Yeah. Many of our fears and troubles have the ferociousness of a lion and the power and size of a giant. Yeah. Hmm? People know what their fears, troubles are. Yeah. 
Thanks be to God, we don't have to face them alone. Because we have a God on our side. I wonder, can I get a witness this morning? We have a God on our side. David in Psalms 34 and 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Thank you, God. My brothers and sisters, God is that light that will show you the way. Yeah. If you're in doubt. Hmm? Psalms 119 and 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Huh? It'll give you comfort and joy in the midst of your sorrows. Huh? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I said joy, unspeakable joy comes in the morning. It is God that shines into the darkness of our souls, our minds, and enlightens us to see his truth. Amen. Psalms 18 and 28, for though thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Yeah. God reveals to men the losses, yeah. and he lights the lamp of the spirit in the innermost being. You see, God will let you see where you're straying off the path. He'll let you see your mistakes. He'll let you see your frailties and let you know that he has a doorway out of all of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? He'll shed some light on it. Huh? Oh, yeah. You know, what's done in the dark is going to come what? To the light. To the light. Uh, yes. Yeah. He reveals to me in their lostness. He can impute newness of life. That's what I love about the Lord. He, he don't write you off like some folk do, but the Lord said, I can give you a newness of life. Yeah. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, therefore, if any man yeah. be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah. That become is a continual thing. You'll be coming to look more Jesus every day. Every day. You know, some folks say, well, you sure looking like your dad. You know, but I want to look like my father. I want to look like his son, which is in heaven. I want my characteristics to be more like Jesus. I want to be able to love my enemies. Bless them that curse them and pray for them. Despitefully you. Despitefully you. Yes. My brothers and sisters, it is in the light of Jesus Christ that we have hope. Because he's our salvation. He has saved us from a burning hell. We can rejoice, saints, because we are safe in the arms of Jesus, our Redeemer. David knew God as a deliverer. In a time of trouble and fear, he gave, he gives to us, and he says to us, he's the strength the Lord. of yeah. my life. Yeah. David refers to God as a place of shelter, yeah. a place where you can steal away in, huh? where you can find your peace in the midst of him. He, he said he's a shelter, he's a, a refuge yeah. and strength in a time of trouble. That's what Psalms 46 and 1 tells us. Yeah. He's a refuge and strength. A present help in a time yeah. of trouble. Yeah. You can still away with huh? Sometime on your way to God's house and you, you had some issues at the house. Huh? You've been tossing and turning all night on your way to God's house. You can say, Lord, just let me still away. Let me still away in your presence right now. I need you right now. I've discovered that he is an on time God and he'll show up on time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, and, and secondly, the results of your relationship is confidence in God. David didn't have to worry about the haters. We all got some haters. Anytime you say that you are a servant of the Most High God, you automatically get some haters because the devil is on your track. He got some young soldiers that are trying to pull you down, trying to keep you from doing what thus saith the Lord. Oh uh, yeah, they ain't just waiting till you get of age, oh. But some young children that have accepted Christ in their life, they got some bullies at school that don't want them. 
don't want to give them no peace. Yeah. But you got to know, young folks, that you can steal away in prayer. And talk to the God and he'll be a refuge for you. Yes. He'll encamp his angels around you. Yes. Don't let no harm come to you. Yes. He'll be just that for you. Yes. A shelter in a time of storm. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Some haters, some enemies don't want to see us succeed. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Says when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. Uh -huh. They stumbled and failed. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart should not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this I will be confident. Uh -huh. They just simply looked back over his life and seen the enemies that tried to do him harm and couldn't. Time and time again, David had stepped in and God had stepped in and delivered David. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can see the same thing in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know, many of us have probably been in a car wreck or two. Yes, sir. The car looked total. Yeah. But God brought us out and walking and talking and without a scratch. Yeah. Yeah. God was in the midst. You look at the wreckage, but we don't look like what we've been through. Yeah. Amen. Yes, he's able. Some of us are, 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 are struggling. Struggling with sicknesses and illnesses. And, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and uh, we're looking for God for a healing. Yes, sir. But the Lord lets me know that all sickness ain't yes, unto death. But huh? I know many of us in here have had the coronavirus. Huh? Yes, We've been all sick. Some of us had trouble walking and many things have impacted you. But God said, I still got you here. I'm still with you. I'm the same God that was before Corona, and I'm the same God after Corona. And all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. That's what Jesus said. So we don't have to trouble ourselves, but all we got to do is trust. That's all we got to do is trust. Ah, uh, yes. He will deliver us. We can be confident in that. Some of us might be struggling with some stronghold. Yes, sir. You know, alcoholism. Yeah. Drug addiction. Uh -huh. Some of us just might like women and, 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 and men and just be that's totally uh, obsessed with the opposite sex and hormones jumping too much. Uh -huh. yeah. But God Step into the midst of all that you're yes, dealing with. Yes, yes. I'm talking about a God that can that can take cocaine taste out of your nose. Know. Yes, yes. Can take alcohol out of your mouth. He'll let you know gin ain't your friend. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna tell you, we serve a God that yes. can do that. Let you know that. Oh, 45 can't do nothing with the 66 books. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. In the Bible. Yeah. I want to get drunk on the spirit of God. Yeah. Because there's power, everlasting power in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, yes, in each situation yeah. in life, God yeah. makes the difference. Yeah. 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 Time in life, your enemies are the majority, and you are the minority. Yeah. David tells us to be confident. Yeah. We serve a faithful God. Yeah. Sometimes it looks like you're outnumbered. Yeah. And, and you can't see your way through, but if you look up, yeah. if you look up, you will see that heavenly host yeah. that is encamped around and said, You already got the victory. Yeah. All you got to do is on him. <laughs> if you lean on him, he can see you through. Yeah, yes, yes. But it seems like things don't look good and that all hope is gone. Yeah. Say to yourself, Jesus is the light that shineth in me. Y'all remember this song that song? Jesus is the light that shineth in me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's still that light. Yes, I heard some, some one songwriter say, sometimes I have to encourage yes, myself. Huh? Yes, sometimes you can be around too many naysayers. Don't want to see your progress. And yes. You have to reach way down within yourself and encourage yourself. Say, Lord, I know you're with me. Yes, I know you're with me and I got the victory and I'm pushing forward. Hmm? Yes, 
David had to encourage himself. When the Amalekites and the, had invaded Ziglag, uh -huh. taken the women and children captive, mm -hmm. and burned the city that they had even taken David's two wives. That's right. First Samuel 30 and 6. David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Okay. Every man for his son and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Yeah. David prayed to God. And God told him to pursue the Amalekites. And they recovered all that had been taken. Yeah. Well, look at God. Huh? Yeah. You think you're losing something? You think you're giving up something, huh? When the enemy attacks, but God say anything that he take, I can give it back to you. Yeah. Huh? A hundredfold. Huh? You don't have to wear it. Yeah. Mm. Look at him. Boy, look at God. Huh? We have to encourage ourselves yeah. in the word of God. The word of God is our weapon. Yeah. It's our weapon against spiritual foes. It, it's through the word of God that strongholds in our lives are broken. It's through the word of God that you can break every chain yeah. that's holding you back. I don't care what it is. Yeah. That's power oh. in the name of Jesus. Oh. Finally, finally, I want to be where you are. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be where you are. Ah, Kiki used to say that song. Yeah. I want to be where you are. And that's where I want to be. I want to be wherever Jesus is. Yeah. Uh, one thing have I desired yeah. of the Lord. Of the Lord. Yeah. That will I seek after. Yeah. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Yeah. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Yeah. yeah. I desire. He said, that's one thing. Yeah. That's my priority in yeah. life. That one thing that I desire of the Lord. Yeah. It should be great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days. You know, some of us yeah. just want one hour of power. So that we can rush off and do the things that we want to do. Some of us are just Sunday worshipers. We don't let God cross our mind to Sunday morning. But David was a seven day, 24 hour a day worshiper of God. He wanted to be in God's presence all the time. That something about knowing that you're in the presence of God Amen. that make you walk a little straight. Yeah. When you know God. See, a lot of times we get it mixed up. We worry about what folk are watching yes, yes, yes. instead of who is watching us. Yes. That's the great I am, that I am, that is watching us. We worry about what folk hear us say instead of what God is hearing us say. See, we get it mixed up sometimes. Yes. Yes. Yes, Brothers and sisters, minutes. Being in his presence, uh -huh. in his sanctuary, yeah. Yeah. just to be a son of worshiper. Yeah. Yeah. David thought that being in his presence yeah. of God is the most important thing in life. Yeah. Yeah. He longed to be in the sanctuary. He wanted to be wherever God was. Yeah. He was a man. After God's own heart. Yeah. When you desire to be in God's presence well. all day, every day, uh -huh. that means you want to be obedient to the will of God. Yeah. David wanted to behold our gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Yeah. What is the beauty of the Lord? Yeah. Scripture reveals that God's beauty is His holiness. Yeah. And First Chronicles 16 and 29, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. Yeah. Bring an offering and come before Him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Psalms 1, 20. 
up the ghost. I see him laying him. <laughs> 